Hey there, YouTubers. It's Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. I'm actually being joined by my sweet little daughter Eliana. She is uh, she is helping uh, she's helping make a make a mess in the room. Actually, nonetheless, let's get to our question of the day today. Our question is: um, Is there a way to copy check boxes using VBA? And the answer is almost always yes to most questions. Not that uh, not that I or, or somebody necessarily knows how to do it but there's almost always a way so let's analyze this you I think you know what I'm gonna do if the code is complicated I'm gonna record this sucker so um, we're, here's what we're gonna do let's go to uh, developer tab in Excel click on record macro we're gonna call this one um, copy um, check boxes to sheet two. It's a really ridiculous name. We don't have to use that, but whatever. It's just so I will remember what's going on here. So we're going to go to developer. We're going to insert. This guy said he wanted to. Uh, he wanted to do like 500 checkboxes and then kind of emulate those results on another worksheet. So depending on the situation, there's several. Oops. I don't want that one. There's several different ways to skin that cat. So let's go ahead and get to the copying. So I'm going to click here, uh, Control click, Control click, and you can Control C or you can right click and copy just so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to head over to Sheet 2 and just like I said, I'm going to paste or Control V. Okay, so uh, we've got that done now. I'm going to stop recording and Alt F11. Let's take a look at what happened. Copy check boxes to sheet 2. Here it is. So it did an active sheet dot OLE objects dot add and then all these different in parentheses here we have all these different facets of what we added. So the class type equals forms dot checkbox dot one. You notice they all say that so it's not the actual name that's just the type of thing that we added. Link is false. Display as icon is false. That's probably extraneous details here. Uh, and the left, you'll notice, is uh, 65.25. This one's 63. This one's 63. So that is just the degrees left that these are. So we'll probably have those all be uniform. We could even do a loop. Uh, now, you'll also know that the top, the top is at first 38. So this one's around 38, and then this one's 66, whatever that means, 66 pixels down maybe, or, and then the next one that we added was 93. So you can see that it's pretty fair to say you could add uh, maybe 33, 32, and uh, so we can try that. Let's go ahead. So, well, so anyway, we're going to create a loop that increases the top by 30 or so. So it'll start out x equals, let's say, 35, and then x is each time we loop, x is going to be equal to 30 or whatever it is plus, let's say, 33, just to be safe. We'll space these out a little bit. So we're going to loop that, and we're going to change the top. The width, I don't really care if it's 108 or whatever it is. So. <clears throat> and then it does a dot select. I tried taking that off the the dot add thing, and you, having dot select at the end is apparently somewhat essential to this uh, particular macro. So, and there was a selection dot delete. I mean, nah, you can take it or leave it. Then you notice I first I selected one, then I selected two, and it just was kind of following along in the recorder. First I selected checkbox one, then I selected checkbox one and two. Finally. I had selected all three, so really, you just need kind of this line right here. Blah 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 dot select here, and then selection dot. So I did copy it, and then it says that I went over to sheet two and selected it, and then it says uh, on on that sheet I clicked on cell B3, selected it, and I uh, pasted. And then I didn't necessarily select it, but it just thought that they were selected after they were pasted, so it wrote that down there. So that's uh, irrelevant and not needed. Selecting sheet one is not needed. So yeah, if you're wanting to do this from scratch, um, let's let's delete that. Let's delete that. 
So if you want to see basically, hey, I'm I'm doing exactly this on whatever sheets that I'm going to, then you could just hit this macro. I'm gonna hit F5, and it's gonna make one here, here, and here. Oh, I'm not gonna add that and delete it. I'll just forget that part. So add this one, add this one, add this one. Select all three. Copy. Select that sheet. Click on that cell and paste, and it would be done. So I'm gonna hit F5. Boom. Done. Sheet one, sheet two. So uh, that's pretty much how you do that. But I think that we, if we're gonna make 500, we need to make a loop, make it a lot easier. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a loop. Let's go ahead and take this uh, this uh, cell cr or uh, checkbox creator thing right here, and let's uh, let's copy it into a new macro. So let's make a new macro. Let's call it sub. Uh, our CB copying thing also a terrible name so we'll start on sheet one let's just paste for now so whatever the active sheet is is going to happen too but you can pinpoint whatever worksheet you want if you watch my other videos you'll see how so first we're going to say that X equal no let's have it be Y or how about top uh, nope, top is a, th let's see, how about my top, my top equals, we'll start it with 35, starting, okay, and so that'll be right here, top equals my top, now it's in a variable, so this is going to change, so we're going to do a loop right now, we're going to say, uh, for x equals 1, 2, uh, let's just do 50 for now and let's hit tab so that this is indented and we'll say next X at the beginning so your four next loops always have to have a next something or other at the end and so we've got a bunch of stuff that can really stay the same the left here the top the top is what's not gonna stay the same so each time we loop through we're gonna say my top equals whatever it currently is. So my top equals my top plus, how about we said 32 whenever we increased. It was give or take, it was 32 or three. So let's try that. It'll That way the top will change here and here and here and here and here 50 times. So and then it'll go to the next one. Um, and then you could actually just change what worksheet you're on or you could do the selection.copy and all this mess and then select the other sheet and paste it so uh, you can do one or the other let's go ahead and try what we've got so far I'm gonna delete these really quick let's see delete 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 bada bing so let's go to this sheet and basically what we're doing is we're just creating 50 text or um, check boxes and it'll probably say you can't do it in, in break mode and then it'll force it to just keep on copying. So my top is 35 and uh, X is now 1 and so you've got uh, create your first one it's gonna say you can't enter break mode at this time if you hit end the macros over if you hit continue it's gonna just finish doing all 50 of them without letting you debug through kinda sucks but whatever so hit continue boom here comes all 50 of your text boxes so that is a lot quicker I think than copying and pasting especially if you have placement needs like you need this next one to be two pixels over there and the next one to be in the original spot you can create a loop and alternate some stuff and and whatnot so here we have checkbox 1 through 50 just like that and um, I imagine you could do that even quicker if you turned app, uh, screen updating off. So application dot screen updating equals false application dot uh, uh, calculation equals false or excuse me manual and uh, let's uh, copy this control C and at the end of the macro will control V will paste this and make this back to being true and we'll make this one to being uh, Excel calculation automatic. And if it, yeah, 
capitalize the A so I know that it's an actual thing. So I'm going to, I can't really select these like this, but here's a trick for you. Click on the Home tab and go to Find and Select, and we're going to find or select objects. And using the Select Objects, you can, in fact, select all these objects. And here, oh, well, let's be in Design Mode, eh? Let's see, boom. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there it is. I was going to say, I know I've done this like a billion times. I'm going to zoom out quite a bit and select them all, hit delete. Well, what's going on here? Okay, well they didn't like that. It's bogging down my uh bogging down my thing here. Okay, let's zoom back in. So it looks like we deleted all those check boxes. And uh, let's take it off of selecting objects. Let's just be able to select a cell like normal. Um, let's run the macro now without screen updating and without calculation. And we'll turn it back on at the end of the macro right here. So let's see what happens. I'm going to hit F5 and just hope for the best here. Boom. Okay, it still took, you know, a whole three-fourths of a second. So unacceptable, I know. But... Uh, let's make it more interesting. I'm going to zoom out. Let's go to like a thousand and see how long it takes with screen uh, screen updating off and all this. Uh, da, da. Do, do, do. Delete these things. Okay, so it's going to delete these things. Might take a second. Okay, we're back. So, going to go back to here and we're going to uh, we'll just watch it make like a thousand of these. Uh, yeah. So let's, in, so very simply from one to fifty becomes from one, for x is one to a thousand. Bam, you got a big, huge loop. And, uh, let's tighten these up a little bit. How about, um, 32 apart, we'll make them like 28 apart. We'll see how that works. And, uh, let's go ahead and save this workbook before it's, you know, errors out or something. I'm sharing this with you guys. If you want to copy this, go on to my shared workbooks uh, folder online on my Dropbox account, which you can find in the video description. You can download any of the workbooks that I uh, pretty much work on in front of you. And uh, you can play with all these macros and all this technology and all this fun stuff for free. Enjoy it. It's yours. Free for the taking. We're going to call this one Copy uh, Multiple check boxes in Excel VBA okay so that's where you'll find it click on the uh, link in my Dropbox description or in the video description the Dropbox link you'll find that workbook in there you can download one or all of them for free let's run this one out uh, we're gonna go to a thousand I'm gonna save one more time here we go I'm gonna hit F5 wish me luck Whew. three two one hit it and it's taken more than one second. Oh boy. Okay, well, that's what you get when you have like a gazillion ActiveX controls. That's why I prefer to use user forms. But again, uh, especially almost everybody in the entire world has a better computer than me. Uh, so, this may take a few less seconds. Also, I'm running about 20 tabs in Google Chrome. Uh, so, that's another thing. So it's not the fastest thing in the world, obviously. I would not recommend doing this all the time. Uh, you don't want to have this many ActiveX controls in a worksheet anyways. So it's bad juju. All right, well, we'll be back when it's done. Okay, it was done like immediately after I paused recording this video. So maybe that's what's bogging my CPU down. Anyways, so there's your thousand checkboxes. But it's really bogging me down. Oops. Also might have. Do I still have the select? Nope. 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 Just just good old fashioned slow. But you do. You know. You know how long that would take you to create uh, 1,000 checkboxes uh, by yourself. I don't care if that took 10 minutes, which it didn't. It took uh, about maybe 30 seconds. Uh, but anyway, you know. Hey. 
doing a loop it works okay you got all these check boxes you go into design mode and you can move them around do whatever you want to do that's how hopefully that answers your question because this gentleman had talked about hey I gotta create 500 check boxes that's gonna take forever so uh, if that uh, hopefully that answers your basic uh, question on that so this will be available for download I'm not gonna click save again because uh, that will make all of those text boxes stay there and I want them to be gone so that if you run the macro yourself you can create however many you want and not have to have a bogged down workbook so I'm not gonna save I saved a moment ago thanks for watching everybody and God bless you